with a minute 49 to go here in the first half. And it's Carroll Academy down by 24 points. When we're looking at our girls basketball team, we're looking at a microcosm of the United States of America. This is not the only place we have kids that are trying to break a cycle and trying to get out of bad home life where drugs are a common thing and a part of living and there's no work ethic. I love basketball. It really ain't that bad to lose because if you're out there having fun, the score really don't matter. There's no stability in her living situation. Me and my sister, we're sleeping on blow-up mattresses because every time we get a house, my dad would usually punch holes in the walls or something, and they won't pay rent, so we just get kicked out. The reason I like staying in basketball like at nighttime is because I didn't have to go home and deal with mom and daddy doing drugs or something like that basketball and the basketball team is her family. It's the one thing in her life that is a constant because she's given these series of games and she knows on that date she's going to be at X place and X time. And that's the only consistency in her life. I thank you very much for what you did and I'm very proud of you. To me, we're state champions. 25 jumping jacks. I love going to school. I get attention at home, I don't get much attention, and nobody talks to me. I believe when young people have to be seen or heard is because at home they're not getting the attention that they need. If you're not uh, receiving the positive reinforcement uh, from your parents that you need, uh, you're going to act... That old saying from pillar to post, and people don't understand that, but it's an old saying that you don't know where you're going to stay from one night to the next. Hannah's case is probably more severe. You know where you live? In Holiday. Yeah, but you know that address? No, sir. Could you point it out on a map? No. Here's, here's Camden. Okay, Holiday's going to be... Are you closer to the river? You I'm know past you're, the river. You're past I'm the, like past that. No, but you're, you're on the right. I'm trying to figure out where she lives. She's okay. telling me now she's on... Clearly it's on the right side, looking on the map. Yes, sir. And how long have you been there? Almost a month. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure we're going to be able to get her here. That's that's my point. We lived in three houses without water and electricity. The DCS used to be all over mom and daddy's. It scared me that they would take us away because I'd never be able to see him again or talk to him again. I go home and everything, and then they argue a lot, and I don't want to hear it. They separated three times. One was because, well, all of them was because of the pills. And then the last time they separated, my dad was choking my mama. I think the drugs had a big deal to do with it, because I wasn't myself. Yeah, or to have hydrocodone, Percocet, just morphine, anything I'd get a hold of. Which I was getting bad on the Xanax is because my nerves were so bad. When you start fighting, I'd just take four or five of them. And pass just, out. And hope, just hope not to wake up. Well, I mean, every married couple's gonna argue. Me and him got into yeah, it. Yeah, we got into it. And his temper is not very good whenever it comes to jealousy or anything like that. She wouldn't go to a different room like the other kids, you know, for us to talk or whatever. She was right there. She'd stand in front of me to protect me too. <laughs> he was counting to three, telling me to get out of the way, and he said three, and I still wouldn't move. She's grown up a whole lot. But maybe what she's saying, she'll look back and she won't follow it. Yeah. I hope. She says she won't, which I said it too. We do everything we can to keep them out of custody because that's what this whole thing is about.
Hannah, um, she wants to be here. She, she gets that structure, she gets the, the discipline. My dad would ask me, or my brother and sister, to steal pills from my mom's purse for him, and we had to, because we didn't want to get in trouble by him. We just had a bad few years. Yeah. But it's, everything's good now. You're in rural northwestern Tennessee. It's halfway between Memphis and Nashville. The manufacturing jobs are all gone. These areas have never recovered. You can understand the position these kids are in. This new generation hasn't seen their parents get up and go to work. Truancy and lack of school attendance is not a kid problem, it's a parent problem. And that's her problem. My parents' cars messed up and they couldn't bring me to school. Okay, you're on a different schedule. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to ask you something, and again, I'm, you're not in any trouble. I just want to know. Um, I'm hearing that mom and dad might be in a little trouble. Do you know anything about that? About probation and stuff? Mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen anything in the newspaper? My cousin said he did the other day. He seen their name in there uh, for not paying them or something. They're paying the probation fees. Fines. So there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a warrant out for their arrest, mm -hmm. and so they're, they're kind of hiding. Mm -hmm. That's why they moved to Holiday, isn't it? Yeah. To tell the truth. Yeah. There are a lot of problems in our home right now. If we're not able to help them get things worked out, there's a possibility that she might go into custody. But if she was taken out of the academy and then placed in a foster home, then I, I think her situation would get worse. I want you to put your name and number down, because since she's staying with you, I need to be able to contact her. Absolutely, man. We want to help Hannah. I'm hard on Hannah, but I know Hannah could do a lot better. I want to know that they can eat. Yeah, that's I want to know if they want. can take a shower. Okay. I want to know if they can come to mom or daddy and have legitimate teenager well, problems and get answers. How long How long are you planning on staying with, um, what, what is his name? Is his name Terry, Terry. and Hello. Morgan, his wife. He, he, he wants you. Mm -hmm. That's what he they said. talk about adopting me and everything and yeah, treating yeah, me well. Regardless of where we live, you've lived, you know, you've done good with your work, always, until this week. Yes, sir. That you know we can't have making zeros, yeah. and I know that's hard when there's so much going on. We're not sure if we're going to be at school with you. It's especially hard when I don't take my medicine. Everybody in the classroom is talking and moving. I'm like, oh my gosh. I understand. Her teacher said yesterday that uh, she needed her medicine for school. So obviously there's a problem going on in school. She's not being able to concentrate like she needs to. And My mom will let her uh, get my Adderall. They can't get her back and forth to school right now, and I'm going to have her anyways. And if they don't trust me with the medicine, you know, that's fine. That's, you know, that's their opinion. Take it to the school. Pills are a big thing these days, especially in these little towns. They're tearing everybody apart. I'm at my cousin's house. I've been in here for a week. They treat me good and they feed me well. There is Billy Ray Cyrus. I sleep in the little boys' room or on the couch. I don't know who that is. Who is this? Ken. Ken? Who? And who's this? And all the girls are named Barbie. <laughs> who's this? I don't know Ken's friend, I guess. Justin Baby, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Those are. I really think that they love me because they already have two kids and that's a lot on them for me to be here too. We want to help, but we don't want to isolate Hannah from her real mother, you know, from Wes and mine. No matter how bad they are, still her mom and daddy. She still loves them. You know, my wife, um, she was brought up rough. We really, you know, connect because I know exactly what she's going through. She doesn't have any clothes with her, so I have to find her some clothes of mine to wear, and which is kind of weird sometimes because we're not exactly the same size. So I'm thinking most likely today I'm going to have to go buy her some What's pants. What's pants that I wore yesterday? I washed them and I have them on. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Yeah. 
anybody that age needs guidance and love and attention and help with their homework and someone just to talk to. I want her to uh, wait until she's at least 20 something to get pregnant. You know, don't be a young teenage mom because it's not easy whether you have help or not. If she don't get education, especially in this part of the country, she ain't never gonna mouth nothing. No. Before Hannah even gets completely out of school, we could have her in nursing school if that's what she wanted to do. Because all you have to have is a high school diploma and the classes are free. And Hannah, as loving as Hannah is, I think that'd be a good thing for Hannah to probably do when she grows up. Besides waiting tables, because you're not gonna make as much money as you would probably in nursing field. And besides cleaning motel rooms, waiting tables, and maybe sewing, there's nothing for women to do around here. How old are you? 16. 16? You're almost 17. You got about one year to get your act together. You're going to be a legal adult. My dad is supposed to be going to jail Wednesday. I think it was this Wednesday, but I don't know if he went because I haven't talked to him lately. I felt bad for him, but I think that he needs it to learn not to do drugs, a detox, and probably get out of his system and he won't think about him, hopefully. I thought I was going to be staying with Terry and Morgan for about my whole life until I messed up and got on Facebook and texted a dude. He was colored, different color than me, and they didn't like it, so they just kicked me out. Is there any more stuff back there? Hannah's been in three homes in the last six weeks. I wasn't in three homes in 55 years. Uh-uh, don't do that. I don't do that. Don't use your fingers. I have scars from doing that when I was 16. I hope it's not too late for her. You know, they say everybody's a victim of their circumstances and you have to rise above them. Well, some people do and some people don't. I feel like that when she's at her house, there's nobody protecting her from any of it. Okay. She could go either way, and I don't even know if anybody would know. I've never cooked in my life. How are you going to take care of your husband when you grow up if you don't learn how to cook? Because I ain't getting married. Well, I might. But I told him to cook his own food. Olivia! Olivia, she loves doing stuff with me. She likes fixing my hair. She, she's the kind of sister I've always wanted. Now I worry about how is my brother and sister eating or my parents fighting around on doing drugs around them or anything like that. I do love my parents, but all that's going on, it makes me think that they really don't care about us. Got another no prompter that uh, needs to come see you. Right. You know what to do with this room? Yes, sir. Let's explain it to me. Right, one through twelve on front and back. <coughs> you already know the notification tape. Got it. No, sir, not all okay, of them. Then this is going to be some good practice for you. One through twelve on the front, back of three sheets. Do you want to stay for the tension tonight? No, sir. I should keep you, Hannah. Huh? You know how many times you've been out this week? I should, I should keep you tonight. Three pages front and back. When you get done, don't you raise your hand. And if there's any time left, if you get in any more trouble today, I'm, I'm going to keep you. I need my allergy medicine. Allergy. From uh, Terry and Morgan's and my another Adderall stuff at Paul, or Terry. Tell me what this medicine is. It's just like Adderall. But? but it's stronger. And your mom and daddy don't have it. They don't know. They didn't keep it. Nope. They know you got it. Yep. And they didn't want it? 
Mm -hmm. It ain't like Adderall and it ain't stronger. Yeah. Who told you that? Who told you that? Me. Because I took it. <laughs> I know that they use her. I know that they use her custody for the food stamps and for the pills. So you can take care of her. You can buy her clothes. You can do whatever you want to. Let her stay with you. But don't cross me when it comes to prescription time. Don't question me. Nothing. And you can keep her. I've been having a lot of behavior problems out of Hannah this week. Well, actually for the last two or three weeks. And, and the main reason is because she's out of her medicine. And when she's out of her medicine, she just can't focus. I feel like it's not my fault and I should do better. It makes me sad though, because Mr. Patrick tells me to be good all week and I say I will and then I didn't. I feel like I let him down. It hurts me bad. I think that Paul and Devin wants to take care of me and show me what's right from wrong and just help me. I've been here for about three, four weeks now, and I hope I'd be here for a while. I love it here. You know, my question is, we've been a week without pills. Monday is coming up again, no pills at the school. You know, what's going to happen in the next two or three weeks? That's my question.